we lost last year to this team to, you know, we're looking for revenge. What's my definition of success? It's just a hard fought game. We want to dominate every single play. LSU is back. We just want to go out there and prove that. We're going to kick that door in. That's how we play LSU football. This is all we got. One, two, three. Yeah, it's Sunday. Prime time. We're going to put it on show for everybody. A city world famous for leisure, but tonight in Orlando, it's all about business. A collision of playoff contenders, each with three national titles in the last three decades, each believing they can add to their trophy case this season. Welcome to ESPN College Football Primetime on ABC and the Camping World kickoff from here in Orlando. SEC, ACC, the Fighting Tigers of LSU and the Seminoles of Florida State, the Dr. Pepper Championship Drive game of the week. And welcome to Orlando. Chris Fowler, Kirk Curb Street, Holly Rowe will join us. What we think, on paper anyway, is the most attractive matchup of this first full opening weekend. Can't wait for this. Yeah, and it's the, this is the game that we thought coming in that, you know, both these teams have big aspirations of what they can accomplish. And what better way than to put them on the field together on a Sunday night to find out who's going to be able to use this game as kind of a springboard into the rest of their season. Yeah, neither team has been the dominant team in their conference, but many expect them to be exactly that. This season, both coaches have done a great job adding to their resumes in the offseason and adding to their portal rosters. Brian Kelly's played FSU now four consecutive seasons. Last year's game was an agonizing loss for LSU, beaten on a block PAT at the gun. Yeah, and, and I think what's impressive was what they did after, their, after that loss. You know, I, I think you talk to these coaches, they hit some adversity, and because they were able to get through that, they were able to have really good years, and a lot of players come Coming back, you know, and, and, and BK's uh, uh, example, it's a team that comes back now and it's just his second year. So I think they're buying into the culture. And Mike Norvell, what he's been able to do four years, he's been through a lot of agony, but he's been able to battle through that, gets to 10 wins. And now with the quarterback, Jordan Travis Peck, I think there's a lot of realistic expectations for them to have a dream season. Yeah, it's a great quarterback matchup. Two guys who are very dynamic. Uh, Jaden Daniels, a year better. Can he create more big plays downfield? He's got plenty of weapons. Jordan Travis, there's the win over Alabama point conversion. Travis is 23 years old. It's his sixth year in college football. He's the unquestioned leader. Both these guys able to just wreak havoc on defenses two ways, actually. Yeah, and, and I think that's the thing. I think we're going to take a look tonight at one of the two of the better dual threat quarterbacks in the country, Jaden Daniels. We saw what he could do in this system. And you and I called that Alabama game last year. It was near the second half of the year. Things seemed to slow down. He was much more familiar with the scheme. Jordan Travis just got better and better and better as a starter. And all of a sudden, you now have these expectations, not just for Florida State, but I think a big part is because of his expectations. He can create. He plays with incredible poise. And I'm, uh, I'm excited to see how he plays against this LSU defense. Both defenses have gotten some talented guys from the transfer portal at all three levels of that defense, but the defense is going to have their hands full tonight. We could see some points scored here. Well, I think a big thing is going to be about, especially on third down, is avoiding the, the big ability to create with these quarterbacks. They are very good at it. Can the defenses contain it? It'll be the question. Seminoles have the crowd edge near their backyard here in Orlando. Can't wait for this one. LSU, FSU, coming up. The Nissan pregame drive is next. College football is all the way back. It's time. Uncle in, baby, because we're going to have a ride. I walk 47 miles of barbed wire. I got a Cobra stick for Nick Tide. A brand new house along the room side. It's a man at a rattlesnake high. I got a wrench in the middle of it on top. And it's a man out of human skull. Come on, take a little walk with me, baby, and tell me who do you love. This place is officially lit. There is a passion and a wildness. Only in college football, Death Valley roars to life for the win. It's gone. Color, pageantry, tradition. These are the ingredients that make college football unique. Look at this moment. Have to get real loud, folks. Buckle up and enjoy. Here we go. It's prime time. Look at him force his way. What a catch. That is unbelievable. I want football. You want football. Everybody wants football. But I love college football. And if you do, you gotta love 
This guy, Chief Osceola, rode in on Renegade. It's not a Florida State home game, but it has some of the trappings that have the crowd edge. About a three and a half hour drive away from the Seminoles home. To Holly. Hey coach, you talked repeatedly about the important traits your team was developing to become championship material. What traits do you need to see early here for success? You know, manage the crowd. Obviously a partisan crowd tonight. Um, and, and then, listen, it, you're going to have to do the little things the right way. Um, can't have turnovers like we did last year in the opener. we got to make the little plays. As long as they settle into the game, do the little things the right way, we'll be fine. Jaden Daniels, your quarterback, did well in the game with his legs. How has he evolved as a passer? I think just confidence and, and poise. You know, those things take some time, and he knows our offense so much better. Uh, I look for him to have a great night. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Holly. Last year's game in the Superdome was really compelling, really competitive, very sloppy. Typical opening game mistakes. Both coaches.